What's up, folks? Well, I've had a lot of requests to show how I launch a boat solo. And anybody that's been around this channel for very long knows that 90% uh, of the time I fish alone. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm a simple guy. And I try to keep things as simple as I can. Uh, if you've been with this channel for any length, you know that we don't do anything real fancy and we don't have real fancy equipment. So I'm going to show you my simple method for launching by yourself. And uh, it doesn't take a whole lot. Let's go over here and take a look at what we got. First thing you're going to need is a rope, of course. And in my case, I have a, uh, I've got a big stainless steel snap here. And this snap can be moved anywhere on the boat. And what you're going to need, you need a, a cleat in the middle on both sides, which I have. I've also got cleats in the back. You can see there and in the front here and I use these uh, for drift fishing with drift socks I can adjust my drift in a lot of different ways the other thing you're going to need which this boat didn't come with I had to add this on is a cleat right in the front and that cleat there's all kind of boat ramps. Most of them have docks and you're either launching left or right side of a dock. But we have a few around here. Uh, one of the big ones, Bird Island, where a lot of times you have to launch without a dock. And when that's the case, that's where this front cleat comes in. We unsnap that stainless snap I showed you We'll move it to this point, and then we'll hook it to the trailer somewhere up here where we can reach it. And we back in, kick the boat off, let it float off, and then we'll ease the trailer out to a point where we can get a hold of the rope and move it back into a position so we can get in it and go fish. <coughs> the other thing, that makes it real simple. Oh, that's bad light. Uh, that's bad. Mm. Yeah. This is just a stainless steel eye bolt that I drilled through this guide and put it up high. And when I'm launching normally, where there's a dock, I leave this rope attached to the cleat that I need, whether it's left or right. And then here we've got a, uh, a big brass snap. I'll unsnap this, unwind the rope, move it up to this point, and I'll snap it into that eyelet. And the only trick to it, when you back in, you've got to stay close to the side so you can reach out and unclip from here, and then you can tie your boat off. Now, if you notice, this other side doesn't have it. But, that's not an issue. If your boat's set up like this one, which is, I would say 90% of the trailers in this part of the country are set up like this, then it's just a simple matter of sliding this off, 
moving it to that other side and move that one over here. And it's really with those three cleats, a good rope. There's no kind of boat ramp that you can't launch by yourself. Like I said, everything I do is pretty simple. We have a manual power pole. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is cost. This thing here is like a hundred and something dollars. And you take this pole, stick it in there, and it works fine. The other thing is, on a 14 and a half foot boat like this one, if you got a power pole sticking wet, there it's going to be it's going to be in the way. And this way, there's nothing in the way. There is absolutely nothing fancy about this rig, but it gets the job done. Right there is a brand new trailer light on a brand new aluminum trailer, as you can see here. The reason I got a brand new light on a brand new trailer is because somebody was kind enough to clip my trailer in the parking lot and tore the light all to pieces. So anyway, that's about that. Mm. My last trip out, and the reason that we don't have a fishing video right now, I started back home to the boat ramp, and the wind had come up and it had gotten choppy. And every time I hit a wave, I had all kinds of alarms going off, tachometer going crazy. Uh, <laughs> it was wild. Luckily, it didn't uh, it didn't throw the motor into idle speed because I had low oil, I had temperature, uh, <laughs> whatever else. There's four lights up there, and they were all coming on and off every time I hit a wave. And like I said, the tack was going berserk. But anyway, this thing's been in the shop, and uh, for a shorted wire, and. Uh, my mechanic got that sorted out. So we're back in business. Now we're just waiting on the weather. It's 40 something degrees right now and the wind's blowing. But uh, as soon as the weather lines out, we'll be back trying to get some fish going. The, uh, <laughs> I was looking on the internet and uh, just seeing how other people launch solo and there's some really complicated <laughs> there's some real in-depth deals they go through to launch a boat the best one that i saw though was hilarious this guy had this big fancy boat probably seventy eighty thousand dollar rig and he went on and on about his $2,000 remote control trolling motor that went on up and down by itself, GPS, uh, I, I don't know, it had everything on it. It was pretty wild. But anyway, he said, all you need to launch your boat by yourself is get you one of these GPS control, remote control trolling motors. And uh, you have uh, no issues at all. So he backs the boat down, floats it off the trailer, no rope, no nothing, pulls out of the boat ramp, boat's drifting off, 
and uh, he goes and parks the truck, gets out of the truck, says, "Yeah, hey, I, I, y'all are probably worried about that boat drifting away, but when you got one of these, and he held up the remote to his trolling motor, <laughs> he said, it's absolutely no issue at all. He said, I'm gonna, I'll hit this remote, drop that trolling motor, and I'll call this boat right back to the boat dock. Well, he got down to the boat dock, started hitting that remote, nothing. Boat still drifting away. <laughs> he, he looked at the camera. I, I can't believe he, he posted it, but anyway, he looked at the camera and said, well, these trolling motors work really good, but you have to turn on the, uh, you have to turn on the Wi-Fi remote, <laughs> which he hadn't done. So he had to sit there and wait for somebody to show up with a boat so he could go get his boat, which was drifting further and further away off into the lake. <laughs> anyway, you keep it simple, you don't have issues like that. So anyway, that's how I do it. And uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, now that we got the boat fixed up, we'll be back to fishing soon. So y'all have a good one. Bye.